Hey, what's going on guys? It is Seth here from the Cruise Classics YouTube channel showcasing this one-of-a-kind 2004 Volkswagen Beetle. And yes, I did say that correctly. This is a 2004. There was only about 3,000 of these made. I believe number 3,000 or at least one of those did go to a museum in Germany. There's only two colors made, Harvest Moon Beige and the Baby Blue. I'm not sure the exact uh, name on it. Very beautiful color. It's kind of an off-white. You have your white tires or white wide wall tires, I believe they call it. Go ahead and open it up, show you guys inside. This thing only has um, just under 5,000 miles. I believe it's 4,772 miles. It's in beautiful shape. Obviously, the cluster is in kilometers, given it's from uh, Mexico, I believe, is where these were produced. You can see 7,680 miles. Well, I'm sorry, kilometers, even though I just said that the cluster was in uh, kilometers. Got your four speed uh, floor shifter there. You can see the Ultima Edition badge there. Unfortunately, this does not have the original uh, head unit or radio in the car. The owner did put a Kenwood head unit in it. It does have Kenwood speakers in the back as well. On the, or I'm sorry, it has kicker uh, speakers on the back of the dash there. See the back seat and everything's in good shape. I'll put a picture on the screen now of what the VIN number reads. It does have a OEM uh, or factory immobilizer, and I'll explain that a little bit more. It has all your Wolfsburg uh, badging everywhere, too, which is cool. Lockable um, engine lid there which I believe was uh, selected on these um, Ultima Edition models. See your casting number there. Just a very unique uh, Volkswagen Beetle for sure. Especially given that there's only 3,000 made. It's definitely a pleasure to film it as well. It's probably the only one I'll ever see in my lifetime. I'm going to open this up and press your little trunk lid down there. But you can see the headliner is in great shape as well. <clears throat> Open your gas lid door, has a lockable gas cap, but you can see everything is in, I believe, Spanish, like I said. You can see your Wolfsburg badge there. Brand new spare tire. Like I said, guys, this is a very, very cool car. You're probably not going to have another opportunity to buy these, or buy one of these, rather. As a roof rack slash luggage rack on top as well. It looks like it can be removed rather easy. You can see your drip rails are all in good shape. Apologize for the noise in the background. But it's pretty cool, it has uh, this stamped everywhere, pretty much on the car. Go ahead and step inside. And I will show you guys how the immobilizer works. There is a little key tag here. Not sure if it'll focus or not, but it says Volkswagen on it. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this one-handed or not. 
But if you do plan on purchasing this car, the immobilizer does have to be kind of pressed up against the column um, in order to work or start the car rather. But you can hear how quiet this thing is. Like I said, the odometer reads 7,680 kilometers. And the radio does work as well, we just have it popped out. Um, just in case it were to drain the battery or anything. Not that it would, but it's just a safety precaution that we do here at Cruising Classics. Volkswagen Beetle Ultima Edition and again that is the correct year 2004 this thing drives really really well given it only has less than 5,000 miles on it. I mean how bad could it drive again guys this is your chance to own something that uh, not very many people will be able to see um, in their life um, it's it's really just a rare car. I mean, there's only 3,000 of these made. Like I said, uh, one of them is in a museum in Germany. This is uh, the newest, I guess, Volkswagen Beetle um, of this style. So uh, hopefully that all makes sense. Again, we have more information on our website at cruisingclassicsinc.com. If you have any questions about this car, feel free to give us a call at 614. 276-7355 and we'd be happy to answer any questions we can but feel free to do your research on this car we've got a good bit on our website but it really is just a super rare car and now is your chance to own it very quiet car as well Obviously, the clusters in kilometers, we are not doing 80 miles an hour. Um, I believe we're doing about 45, 50 if my calculation is correct. Probably a little bit faster than that. But uh, we're definitely not going to make a U-turn right there because it looks like there's a bunch of mud. So we're going to go on just a little bit of ways and just keep driving the car. It drives super well, drives straight. Ohio roads aren't the best, but you can see that it does keep driving straight. It doesn't pull to the right, pull to the left, or anything like that. The wind is definitely blowing right now, though. If you guys can't hear it in the video, it is extremely windy right now. But I really, really like the color on this car. Like I said, I believe it's called Har Harvest Moon Beige. Uh, it's like an off-white. And if I were to ever repaint a car white, uh, I would definitely repaint it Harvest Moon Beige because it really just is a good looking color. But we will go ahead and turn right here. Kind of an unexpected turn, but I'm gonna go ahead and make the U-turn right here. I didn't want to go down any farther. Make sure nobody's coming. Turning radius on this car is definitely very good if I do say so myself. But yeah guys, if you have any questions on this car, like I said, feel free to give us a call. 614-276-7355. And 
And this car just shifts so well, if I do say so myself. Just goes right into gear. No grinds, no pops. Like I said, it's got less than 5,000 miles on it. I mean, what could you expect wrong with the car? To be honest, if I were to buy this car, I probably wouldn't even drive it. Maybe occasionally to get ice cream or <laughs> something like that, but... This car eventually will be worth uh, a lot of money, uh, if it's not already, in my opinion. not to talk too much so you guys can hear every creak and sound if any so far I don't hear any sounds or anything like that drives super well over bumps you can tell I'm not bouncing around like the suspension would be blown or something like that again it only has just under 5,000 miles so not much could be wrong you have like the modern dashboard in here in the other lane and I guess this semi truck decided to pull out not a problem you are more than welcome to I suppose out this video if you guys did enjoy it please you guys are doing a very good job at it give this uh, video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel we'll have a bunch more content coming soon hopefully you have uh, some car shows and you know future builds and especially more driving videos like this one so anyway guys I'll see you guys in the next video